Hi guys, Drina here, back with another super impromptu video. Uh, let's see, it's very close to supper. I am making pizzas and want to show you some of what I'm pulling together here tonight. It's been a pretty busy day. We had swimming in the morning and then I took my older daughter out to um, an art supply store out of the local area and then had to run another errand a little later so it's kind of been like all over the place but I did manage to throw together some pizzas really quick with some tips that I will share. I'm going to turn around the video and uh, yeah, let's run this. Uh, one thing I'd like to ask you though guys is what should I call these? Like I'm doing a lot of them now and I'm just calling them impromptu or real life videos or I don't know. <sighs> help me out, I'm not good with this stuff. I just pulled together the food people. Uh, you help me make it sound good so uh, give me some ideas. Okay, gonna turn this around and let's go. So first up I had a bit of a massive can you have a bit of a massive? Okay, I had a massive zucchini fail. Two things happened. I was grilling them, and we have this thing going on in our kitchen where if I have things plugged into this unit, or this electrical outlet, outlet and then I put on my kettle in another electrical outlet, if this is either my grill or my air fryer, it shorts out. So. I had to reset the fuse and as a result my zucchini were kind of steaming rather than grilling because I had the top down and I was trying to get some nice grill marks and instead the zucchini just sat in lukewarm grill and just kind of steamed and that's kind of what we have now a bit of a zucchini mess. Also I used a really large zucchini and you can see it has a lot of seeds. So I actually prefer small zucchini I think people think that large zucchini are awesome, like excellent, but I find small zucchini taste better and they're less watery. They don't have as many seeds. So if you have the option, go for some small ones. I picked these up really inexpensive at the farmer's market yesterday, so I didn't mind, but um, yeah, didn't grill so well. So there is my um, zucchini mess. See, I can barely get it off the grill here, really. But I am gonna grill some red peppers too. So I'm going to redeem myself with the red peppers. Stay tuned. Yes, some grilling redemption here. I grilled up the red peppers and I threw on artichoke hearts from, um, these are the ones from Trader Joe's that are frozen. I didn't even thaw them guys, I just threw them on frozen. And because they're about the same like thickness as the bell pepper sliced, they grilled up really nicely. Sometimes if you put things on and they're different um, widths or thickness of slices on the grill and and you you put the top down then they won't grill very well they won't get those nice grill marks but the artichokes came out so good and this is the first time I've grilled them that I'm actually going to do some more I think after because I know uh, these are gonna be a hit well at least with three of us two of the kids don't like artichokes one loves them, and Paul and I both like them. So, yeah, that's it. So I've got some grilled veggies, and I'm going to assemble pizzas. So I saw online that these um, Trader Joe's cauliflower crusts were vegan. So I thought I'd give them a try. Um, we made a trip down there and picked up a bunch of things. And I do have a recipe for a cauliflower crust, and I just don't have it posted yet. A lot of times, cauliflower crusts have eggs in them or cheese or both to bind them. Um, this one doesn't and it has the corn flour, yeah, corn flour and corn starch. Uh, it doesn't look like it's organic. It would be nice if the corn products were organic, but these are not, I don't think. I don't see it. Um, anyhow, I should get my recipe up, but I'm going to take this out and start assembling pizza and have a look at what this is like. So here's the pizza crust. On um, first glance, it looks like a really huge rice cracker. <laughs> like those rice crackers kids really enjoy and people like to have with hummus and stuff. That's what it looks like to me, a huge rice cracker. Um, you know, it's not very thick and it's really uniform. So when you make them yourself, they're much more rustic and interesting looking. So we'll see how it tastes. I have two of them and I know that will not be enough 
food for this family because they eat like savages. So I also have some um, baguette that I sliced in half. You can see. And I'm just going to make like baguette pizzas with those. And add some of the same toppings, but I'm going to vary them up a bit because I want to put some tomato sauce on a couple. And then I'm going to put like a nut cheese on a couple. Um, and I may put some vegan cheese on the top of the few for the girls because they really like that. So we'll see. All right, another grilling first. I was getting exciting with the grilling and I thought I am, I wanted to make sweet potato fries, but I didn't want to turn on the oven. It's too hot here. It's muggy. Uh, we've had like weeks of this heavy air and we have a ton of smoke in our air in the Vancouver area. So I was not turning on the oven. I had the grill going and I thought I'm going to slice up sweet potatoes really thin and grill them. And aren't they gorgeous? And they did not take long guys, like maybe eight minutes total. I put the top down on the grill and I'm thinking eight to 10 minutes. I sliced them very thin, but not like razor thin. I mean, they're, you can see there, I don't know, maybe quarter inch, half inch, no, not a half inch, maybe a quarter inch. And anyhow, they're just gorgeous. I just think, I mean, how beautiful. I Plant foods are so beautiful. I I don't know, maybe people who don't like to cook, it's because they're cooking flesh. That's what I'm thinking, because it's not very attractive to deal with. It's nasty. <laughs> All the food contamination, and then it's brown and beige, and I don't know, it's just not pretty. So now I'm gonna flip things around and show you the pizza. Okay, so I am starting to put some, um, nut cheese on this sorry guys Ugh. on this first pizza and i'm using this one which is uh pulse cashew cheddar so we get this one this is not super available i don't think it's from penticton oh, i didn't realize it was from penticton bc cool and we get this one through vegan supply and um, if you're not familiar with Vegan Supply, just go online, vegansupply.ca. And we have a local shop here, so I can go in store and actually pick this up, but you can order it online. So if you're in the Vancouver area or anywhere in BC, um, you can pick it up in their stores and they have a new location downtown. And this is not sponsored by Vegan Supply, um, but if not, you can order online as well. So. Um, and they're also connected with the meat restaurant. So if you want to order online and get it delivered to the meat restaurant, and that's M-E-E-T people, um, you can pick it up from them there. So anyhow, that was not sponsored by Vegan Supply, but they are a fabulous local company and they ship everywhere, not just Canada. They ship internationally. I mean, shipping may be a bit pricey, but look them up and get some yummy vegan goodies. Okay, so I'm putting that one on the uh, cauliflower cut crust and after it thaws, it's pretty pliable. Look at that. Some might say it's a little rubbery. <laughs> I haven't tasted it, so we'll wait and see. But this uh, is uh, the Pulse Cashew Cheddar. And uh, we like this one. It's It's got a nice flavor. It's It's got a bit of a nucci flavor, but it's really good. And so when I make pizzas, and I say, but it's really good, because not everyone likes the nucci flavor, but it's not too prominent. It's just really nice. Uh, when I make pizza, sometimes I will add a nut cheese instead of a, yeah, this is fun, right? You hang it in. Instead of tomato sauce, because it adds a really nice, like, hearty, thick base. And if you don't want to use processed vegan cheeses, this is a really nice way to add a cheesy flavor. And you add it as a base instead of a topping. And then you put your toppings on. So I'm gonna now go to another pizza and add some tomato sauce. Hang on. All right, and now I'm adding the tomato sauce base to another of the crusts. So I'm using this sauce here that I found, Field Day Organic Pizza Sauce. I often make my own pizza sauce and I make it with like a tomato paste base, add some water, a little bit of maple syrup, a little bit of balsamic, season it up a little bit, add some dried herbs. But I wanted some quick fixes and I saw this one down in Bellingham again when we were doing some shopping and it's organic it's nice what I'm going to do with this because I never use the full jar is I'm going to freeze 
what I don't use and put it in just a little small Ziploc container or maybe two because if I put this in the fridge it will go bad and then I'm wasting it and for those of you that are wondering I know some of you want to know if it's oil free this one actually has no added oil and it says vegan which is so awesome uh, yeah so that should be a good one and I'm gonna layer on some veg now so this one I am going to do let's see hmm I'm gonna do this one with some of the artichokes and they're gorgeous they look I mean this is so lovely and oh yeah remember my zucchini disaster so I'm going to put a little, actually, I should put those on first, but I'm going to do that on the next pizza. The next pizza, I'm going to put some of those on the bottom so you don't even see it and it just kind of melds in. My kids don't always love zucchini. I don't know why. It's, to me, it's like the friendly vegetable. It doesn't taste super sharp or bitter or anything. And I don't know what the problem is with kids. Picky, picky. And I'm going to put some of the sweet potatoes on there. I mean, look. It's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I'm just so happy with <laughs> I'm so happy with myself tonight. But uh, you know, pizzas are so fun to make because you can do whatever you want with them and they don't have to be fussy and they don't have to be difficult. So this I'm gonna put some of the kids' cheese on this. I'm gonna pause again and come back. Okay, we're back. I added some Kalamata olives as well. And this is the cheese I'm using. So this is a new, fairly new product, I think. It's the Earth Island Parmesan. And again, we get this one at Vegan Supply. I'm not sure where else you might be able to get it in Canada, so look that up. And this one's like a dry Parmesan shred. And I like this better than a lot of the processed vegan shreds because when it has a lot more flavor, it's kind of like punchy Parmesan flavor. And it will melt a little bit, not like a Dea shred or another one of those shreds. But it's also not as oily. And in fact, if I'm doing, like I find I don't need to use as much of this. If I'm doing a pizza with Dea, I will usually, I prefer buying the block and grating it to the shreds. I find the shreds really oily. And the kids like them, but for me, I find it way too like oily. I don't want a lot of it. And so anyhow, that's my tip. Try the Earth Island Perm or try the block of Dea. I'm going to do up the other two pizzas and the baguette or no the other one pizza and the baguettes and show everything at the end all right we're done i've baked everything up oh in all of my wisdom of trying to not use the oven today <laughs> guess what i forgot i had to bake the pizzas but what i did was actually set the oven on broil because i didn't really need to bake the crust i really just wanted to brown up the toppings so doing that, I could do them a lot quicker and it didn't have to heat things up as much. So this is the pizza I did with a little bit of cheese and the tomato sauce and the sweet spuds. And then this is the one I did with the nut cheese. And again, these are the both the cauliflower crusts. And isn't that pretty with the sweet potatoes and the olives? I love it. And then I did the, I'm literally standing over my table now, the, um, baguettes and I did them differently so I did one with sweet potatoes and olives and I didn't put cheese on that because the olives are going to add a ton of salt and that like fatty salty flavor that you get with cheese so I don't think we need it on that one I did the zucchinis with the cheese artichoke with cheese and sweet potatoes with cheese because I know the kids will want to dig into those and yeah so that's it that's our pizza party and um let me know what you think if uh, you have ideas for this whole like theme of videos I'm doing and um, yeah what you found useful that's it guys uh, you remember to pop over to my site for specific recipes it's plantpoweredkitchen.com and uh, now that I'm doing a lot of these videos subscribe to my channel here and like the video and share it if you find it useful thanks and uh, we'll be back with another soon bye bye